What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. there. Wait till you see this view, Lara. Take my hand. Thanks. Look at that. It's amazing. But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. This wind is crazy. We just need to keep moving. Even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Whoa! Shit! Are you okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. Are you all right? Jonah! I'm here! I'll climb down there and get you! No! It's too dangerous! I can climb back up! Are you sure? Just stay put! me a heart attack. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Looks like we gotta go through. <laughs> Not bad. If the weather turns, we can pull up into stay. Do you really think we'll find this whole city? I know it's 
a long shot. But that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Well, I guess if I was going to hide a lost city, this might be the kind of godforsaken place that I'd do it. I just hope Trinity hasn't beaten us to it. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. <sighs> Feels pretty solid, but keep close to the wall. Okay. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open. Falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. There's lots of loose ice up here. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. That jump. Stay there. I'll anchor a line for you at the top. All right. I'll give you some slack. Almost there, Laura. You got it. <laughs> the ruins. Oh God. Laura! Oh shit! I got you. I got you. Laura! Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm gonna pull you back up. Oh fuck!
is the greatest cruelty of life, that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. More lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb, Anna. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. You better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you! You bastard! Damn! This road! 
shit! They weren't supposed to shoot at us! Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! No, no, no! No, no, no! in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. religious icon, detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps 10th century. It fits with the legend of the Prophet. be it. of marker. I can't quite make out the translation, but this word... <gasps> Prophet! This is it. <sighs> Dad was right.
These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. He led his followers through the desert, to the oasis. sundown <sighs> they're after the tomb <sighs> I've got to find it before them hmm my Greek is still a little rusty but it's pointing to something hidden nearby I'll mark down the locations Dad could have seen this. here. Got to get inside. Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. A way through. Damn 
damn it. Come on. a battle here, armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? The prophet slain by the Order of Trinity. was too close. <sighs> They're blasting their way in. I hope this works. Ha <laughs> ha! 
stunning. We made it, Dad. find a way to get up higher. Maybe I can raise the water. The religious symbol, but this one is simple and handmade. The prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. What you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south, and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. This, I swear.
just inside. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road, wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee, and followed him back to the Oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death, or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside, and it will become a tomb at last. Got to raise the water. My lord, the last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates, and I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. Thank you. 
wall is weak. I should be able to break through. Charges! The Prophet's tomb. After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. Open it. Carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. <sighs> Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me! You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact.
Jonah! Laura! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact that your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would, it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katesh. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Damn it! Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is, then. Don't try to find me. I need to do this alone. Got to find shelter.
keep moving. Come on, you can do this. Move. An old camp. enough to last the night. Oh, need to gather more. Going to need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone.
No way to pull that down yet. For a year I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last the Divine Source will be ours. I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the Prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the Prophet survived but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the Order of Trinity.
We have told the people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn, but we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives we kept from the battles in the west will be our shields as we advance. Few survived the long march across the mountains, but those that live will serve their purpose to the Horde. The city sparkles, a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. These ruins here, Mongolian. of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? Someone was wearing it when they were killed. Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the borderlands, 
give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced.
Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby. Trinity, they're here. Command, do you copy? Oh shit! Oh shit, what the hell was that? Survey team, this is Overwatch. Please respond. Survey team, please respond. We got some interference on that last transmission. We lost contact with a survey team on the southern ridge. Last known point of contact was the Mongolian... <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <laughs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. Got to bind this wound. Those leaves should stem the bleeding. <clears throat> Need some kind of bandage. <clears throat> An abandoned Cold War installation. What's Trinity doing down there? <sighs> 
Good enough. More Mongol ruins. It looks like the path goes all the way through. Got to get past that bear. Those mushrooms, they're death caps. I should be able to make a poison.
Might be able to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try. Need to rest. So cold, so tired. No, you listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Lara. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again. Runner down!
Marines report in. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. They can't be far. Over. Comms are still spotty, so stay in close. We need to find them before they can organize another raid. Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find oh. the missing... Teams, keep your eyes open. The natives booby trap the woods. Heads up, we haven't restored the uplink. Expect interference on all transmissions. signal we got said they were under attack, then nothing. It was just a few minutes after the Navy hit us outside the woods. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated thing. They're trying to spread us out. We tell who fucked this up, these are peasants. We still haven't located the missing survey team. That's still our primary objective. Eyes open. on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. 
Constantine gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving, giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. Damn, it's still there. Draw it out. 
teleport sometime. Fugitive prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads.
it's gonna be cold. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. A sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. Need wood to get this fire started. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. Something up there.
The Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones, and I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Now to find out what's up there. Carrying so much wealth with them. <sighs> oh. 
It's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I have always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now it has another use. Codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Team brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith.
madman continues on. I, I do not know what drives him. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day, I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead, the mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. But I am so close, I can hear them singing just over the ridge, a joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week, and I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him.